Alright, so this video is to help people who are having the green screen problem in Windows Movie Maker. Uh, basically, I've just set things up here into uh, well, three different folders. This is where uh, my project will end up. Uh, both versions, the original with the green screen and then the one where the green screen has been removed. Uh, here, I have the original files for my movie because I've already made a movie. And uh, down here is where I'm going to convert the original files. So here is uh, my movie in Windows Movie Maker. I'm just, uh, I just used three separate files, but as you can see I did a lot of editing, a lot of different cuts, uh, fades, other effects in there. And so uh, I didn't want to have to redo my entire movie just because a lot of these different cuts were all set to the music and that took uh, well, that took a couple hours to do and so at this stage where it is now the original files are still AVI so if I go ahead and save this movie to my computer which I'm going to do now just in a quick format so it doesn't take too long So here are my movies just uh, finishing loading and then I'll just show you what it looks like right now. Hit finish. So there you can see the dreaded green screen taking over half of my movie. For myself it's it's on this side just because my video files I had to turn them all 90 degrees just because they were all sideways so that's why my green screen is on the side. So from here, you can go ahead, exit your movie, and uh, exit Windows Movie Maker as well. Just keep that closed. And now you're going to want to go ahead and uh, convert the files. So uh, I downloaded any video converter, but I imagine that uh, most any other one should work uh, as well for this. Just go here. Add your videos. Mine are on the desktop. So here I have my original files. So you can see there's only three. Take those, open them. And I'm going to choose to convert them to WMV. And then I just convert those and then select an output folder and that is also on oh well, I chose mine on my uh, on my desktop and I just named it converted files just so I can remember where they are and I'll let those convert all right so now I have converted my original files and I have them in this converted files folder now what you want to do is just open the converted file folder Here's my three converted WMV format, and then open up where you have the original files. Just keep that here. What you're going to want to do is take the names of the files from your original ones, everything in there, whatever they're called, and the .avi, and you're going to want to rename your converted files the exact same thing. AVI and this might pop up which is fine you just say yes alright now this file is named the same as the original one but this is still in WMV format just do this to your other two So now these three converted files have the same name as your original three. Now what you want to do here is take the original three in the folder. You're going to want to go to cut. 
and then just paste them anywhere else on your computer that you want to save them to. It can be a folder, desktop, anywhere. I'm just going to save them to the desktop. So now they're not in that folder anymore. So now what you can do is you can close all these folders. You don't need them open. Go to Windows Movie Maker and open up your project. Now you're going to see on your files there should be these red X's, and that's because you've removed the original files from where Windows Media or Windows Movie Maker thinks they are. So you can just go ahead and click on any of them. And it's going to ask you if you would like to browse for it. You say yes. Now what you do here is the folder where you have the converted files, mine's on my desktop you're going to go in there find your converted file it'll pop up like it's asking for open it and now all of your movie all the files should be back now from here everything should be good to go you can go and uh, produce your movie I'll do the same thing. Let's bring it down here. And go to publish. There you go. No more green screen. Uh, if anyone has any questions or they're running into problems or they weren't really clear about something or I know the camera quality is not really that good. Uh, please feel free to uh, to message me or to comment on the video, just asking any questions, and uh, I'll try and help you out.